Hello everyone, Cradax here. Welcome back to our Angel Bob's Omni playthrough. In our last episode, we established the beginnings of a shopping mall here. I probably need a few more turrets to make sure we are protected. And the next big goal I have in this episode is to improve our iron and copper. And be able to make them individually. So that's going to be... Uh, these researches, sapphirite ore extraction and stereotype ore extraction. And then that will allow for a better ratio overall, getting half of our omnite to become stereotype or sapphirite. Currently, we're only getting four out of 10, which is 40%. So this boosts it up to 50%. And then with some more... Uh, research, we can get that to 7.2 out of 12, which is another 20%. Was that 70% to 30%? I think that's a 7. No, that's not 70, 30. What is that? 10% uh, is 1.2. Oh, so it's 60, 40 split, which doesn't sound like a huge difference, but 60, 40 is a lot different than 50, 50. Anyway, uh, so we need these inserters, and we need a bunch of belts to get the green science. So I need to build some new some new buildings for green science, which I can do. pick all this stuff up because it's not doing anything anyway and then I think I'll automate green science down here and we'll have science kind of snake its way around if we need to add more labs which we assuredly will at some point but I'll have green science come up this way and then over up and I'll just dump in on the side of the belt there. So green science, I probably should make a separate build for that. So we want to automate 0.5. And this is where Helmod comes in. If you've never used Helmod, it's great. It's a way to easily plan out the factory that you want for the items that you want. So we're going to do 0.5 per second. On transport science packs, we're going to default to assembling machine one in the future. We need half of a basic transport belt. I'm going to make all this stuff fresh so that I don't use up my supply from other places. Okay, then inserters. Hmm. Use half of an inserter per second. This can make one per second. Maybe I do just want to use this supply. So that would make my life a lot easier. Yeah, I think I'll do that. Because the, the issue is going to be the omniters, because that uses one and barek. This would use a third of a regular one, so that's 1.3. We're only making two, so there's a little bit of leeway there. Um, but I might need to improve my Omnitor production at some point. So then this is going to go sideways. And use our awesome underground belts. And then inserters. Let's have these come up. Join in. That'll go on the close side. And then that will come across and up. Let's put one out here. I feel like there's a way... Is it shift-click? Alt-click? No. I thought there was a way to put one in, but I can't remember what it is. 
Huh. I can't remember. Okay, so I need my five, or I think it's actually six assembly machines. Three, four, five, six. Perfect. Actually, that's not perfect. We need to move down a couple. So this will be production or transport science pack. The rate is 0.5 as expected. And then inserter action. There we go. Outserting. We'll even throw a lamp in here. Okay. So that's going to strain our Omnisium a lot, but it's at least technically automated. So that we can get our Sapphirite ore extraction going. And then the only other big thing I want to automate is uh, assemblers, which need regular Omni tours. And then we have to upgrade it to a burner, which is more iron, iron gears, and then omniters. And then we need ambaric omniters and iron gears. So unfortunately, there's also a burner inserter that needs to go in there, which is what again? Omniter, iron. Okay. So omniters and iron should be all we need. It's kind of interesting. You don't need any. Copper. Oh, I guess you need the anbaric omniters, which is copper. So. Okay, so the iron will come over. This will split off. So just these two alone should be able to get all the different assembly buildings. I'll go down one more square. So let's see, we start with the purple one. Iron plate, burner inserter, omniter. Oh, that's the problem. We need burner inserters. And that needs gear wheels. We need gear wheels for pretty much everything, I think. Move that over one. This will be gear wheels. Uh, so iron will come down here. Do that. Do that. And then hmm, this one will grab the omniters and omniters will come down. So grab those omniters. Then we need to add iron plates, gear wheels and more omniters, which I can do in here. Iron will run, oops, not like that, uh, down this way. More gears, plates, monitors, and the purple ones. So we can do that. Grab some monitors. I think that'll do it. And then finally, the last one. It'll be for the electric assembling machine, which is even more gears. Which then it should be here. The burner one and then and bark omniter, which will be here. OK, so that will take forever to stock up, but it'll also work. I think. Got a lot of iron missing for sure. We'll just kind of give it some iron to start out. 
Yeah, sweet. Okay, so that's all running. We're definitely short on Omniters still, even though we doubled our Omnisium. But hey, we just got Sapphirite or Extraction. So we can set up something that's more dedicated. Also, power. Power is an issue right now. So I'm going to make some more crushers and some omni furnaces and we're going to use this ore over here to be a little bit more effective. Ah oh, shucks, I don't have a splitter yet. And then I'll do power. I don't know, over here. The nice thing is you don't have to worry about where water is because water pumps don't really do anything. Or there aren't any water pumps, I guess I, sh I should say. Alright, gotta wait for the handcrafting though. While I'm waiting, we'll fuel those guys up and fuel this guy up. Fuel these up. And we'll work on a more compact build. Okay. So that should be closing in on a full belt, 10 per second. Um, yeah, I guess I'll just go this direction. So we need crusher. To crushed Omnite. And that rate is absolutely absurd. So we need maximum input. Something like this. That can almost handle 10. Which is more than I'll ever need. And then output, same thing. We need a ton of output. So up, over, down, across, I even have one there. These two are on the close side. Perfect. Okay, so that will handle the crushing. And then the furnaces. We will have right here. They're making purified Omnite, crushed Omnite. I can handle 15, which would be 7.5, which is probably more than I have. The input rate on each of these is 2.5, so even a solid row of inserters isn't quite enough. We do only need one output inserter, though. And I can remove those, actually. And that's purified Omnite which will go that way. I'll have it go this way, and then we'll have our power up here. So I'll need some new boilers, which is in Angel's power. Ooh, I could even start building the tier two boilers. Not that I need to, but I could. And then we just need to hook up this guy. So I'll build another splitter. And I will have priority to making Omnisium. Ah, eh, no, that's dumb. I'll have priority to making power. <laughs> power should always be number one priority. What am I talking about? Omnisium is a very high priority, but not more important than power. And I'll get rid of these trees, and then I'll have to do another water setup to make sure we have enough water for all this, which does mean I will need some pipes. I can build steel pipes. Don't think I have the advanced underground pipe stuff yet. Okay, so output priority left. Which will slow down the Omnisium for a minute. I'll, I'll just keep it half and half for a little bit, so that way we won't totally lose out on Omnisium. And once we run this for a few minutes, we'll switch over. Okay, so we've got our steam engines. 
put a light here. And then I need water. So I'll actually set that up underneath all of this down here. Because I'll want Omnite for that. So for water, we need, I think, two Omni tractors and a flog. So this one makes as much Omnic water as it can. And then this one makes water out of Omnic water. And then waste needs to go away using an Omni flog. Ooh, we can make an electric Omni flog now. Yeah, we need more in Omnisium before we build those willy nilly. That's for sure. Okay. So the Omni flog needs to be, I think, I want to make this as compact as I can. So I'll put that there, I'll put the other one here. You'll make the Omnic water. Uh, does that work? So I need a top up valve is what I need. Right there. Yeah, that works. And then this wraps around like this. And then we need a top up valve. And you turn Omnic Waste into Omnic Water. And then all together, you guys need to have plenty of Omnite to fuel you. And there we go, there's water. But given, uh, yeah, I'm kind of dumb. We should just have this be like lined up with where the water is needed, which is here. So I need some more, what are they called? Nanobots here. My nanobots help out. And let's try again. And now we need the all night to run past here. Like so. Okay, and then we need an underground. Connection. Perfect. All right, so our new power is running at a much higher capacity. And I'm gonna move the old power over. Whew, okay. This feels good. We're like getting a real base going. It's a pretty slow start with Omni, that's for sure. You know, I can just copy this. Oh, and water. Perfect. There we go. Okay. So power is good to go again. We definitely need some turrets. Of course, I'm out of iron. But we need protection. Do I even have iron? I don't, not really. I guess a little bit built up. But my base is very preoccupied with things right now. Looks like a lot of iron's going to bullets, so we're gonna slow that down a little bit. Yeah. We are definitely stalled out on iron. Well, the good news is we're about to get more as we get a new setup. We 
Okay, I don't think there's anything I can do to make this set up any faster. I guess I could add in another one of these, but these guys are already using all of the all of the Omnite I have. We should probably have two belts. So what is this belt even doing? Now that I look at it. I think, why did I ever set this up this way? We'll do that. And then this one. We'll just set this belt up to also go through. So I think we get more than 15 per second. Yeah, from all of these. So we want to make sure we're taking advantage of as much as I can. Because a lot of that Omnite's going to make Omnisium at least 4 per second. Or at most 4 per second. Would be more accurate. Do I have plenty of water? Looks like I do. So that's good. The waste is definitely building up. Hopefully that doesn't become a problem. But anyway, the whole thing I was doing was some gun turrets. So we'll have one right here on this side of the belt and one on this side. I'll have to automate gun turrets at some point. Pollution is still spreading, but it looks like not too bad. I think what's helping is that 200% absorption ratio. I think that actually makes a huge difference. Because it's kind of an exponential thing where like it takes more and more pollution to get a bigger radius. And if it's absorbing twice as much trees and grass, then that helps a lot. So we will have to make insane amounts of pollution though. So I have no doubt that the biters will attack. It's just a question of time. All right, we're at 87%. So we can definitely start designing what it's gonna look like to smelt large amounts. Um, so let's just kind of build a design and then we'll move it where we wanna move it. But. So definitely not that one. Uh, this, nope, where is it? Why don't I see it? We just did the research. Oh, it's only made in electric Omni tractors. Okay, well that answers that question. Gotta make some electric Omni tractors now. Which need Omnisium iron gearboxes, which end up being quite expensive overall and lots of crafting time so I will want to automate that hmm oh our omnisium is building up that's good news um so let's see omnisium iron gearbox I can make with three assemblers where there's did i just run out of power uh oh why am i running out of power it must be the water yeah it's the water i probably need another omni vlog that's the problem Yeah, it's just not getting rid of the waste fast enough. If I just dump the waste, it'll pick back up. Hmm, okay. Well, that's annoying for sure. But let's connect these up. So that I at least have twice as much on me vlogging. Don't know if that'll be enough. 
what I really need is the upgraded uh, Omnic Water and the upgraded Water Omni Traction. Because then we get more water and less waste, which is a better ratio. But that's 58. This one's only 29, so let's do that. That'll help a little bit. Reduce less waste. Hopefully that will keep enough water going. So 540. Nine hundred per second creates five hundred forty per second. These can handle seven hundred twenty per second. So that should be okay. I think. I don't actually know how much we'll be using, but I guess we'll see if that works. And then is this enough? of everything. Four per second. We can get up to six per second. Each of them is 2.4 megajoules, so that's like... Well, each of these is 3.6, which is one and a half Omni Furnaces. So... Four and a half Omni Furnaces is enough to keep all these running, if I have enough crushed Omnite, which I currently don't. So we do need output priority left now, and I do need some more miners, is what I'm seeing. And that should fix things. Okay. We'll do that, and then I think that will be enough extra. Seven per second is enough for all six of these to run full time. And we're doing okay on water. Looks like we're keeping the Omnic Waste to a minimum, which is good. Perfect. Okay. Oh, and I just finished Omnic Water Omni Traction 3 which means this ratio is better. So that's good. Okay, so back to what I was doing with the electric Omni tractors. I'm gonna have these guys, now I can do straight Sapphirite. And probably wanna set up, gosh, that's so many resources. Now I'm out of circuit boards. I'm trying to think of how much I should set up. Let's get rid of some of my cables. So let's actually hell mod this. So I want iron plates. I guess I don't want a massive setup just because I'm going to do the angels metallurgy stuff. So let's go. How much iron have I been producing? Iron plate. I've been producing around 1.5 per second. I want to at least double that. Maybe maybe triple, like four per second, I think is a decent number. Uh, stone furnaces, I should probably do Omni furnaces to save on fuel. And they don't make pollution, which again, feels like a bug. Or just something that hasn't been added. It just feels incomplete. It feels weird that the Omni doesn't have pollution. Um, okay, and we want to... Is that the exact same recipe? Oh, that's the hand crushing one. Okay, so... Crushed ore... Can I build the ore crushers that are run on electricity yet? I wonder. I can't. Okay, so we'll do that. Uh, Omni Furnaces, those will be fueled by Omnite or Purified Omnite, there's a lot of different types of fuel out there. It's weird that you can burn Omnite ingots, kind of funny. 
Or even a sheet coil. You can burn sheet coils? Or maybe you can't. It's showing a zero. I don't know why those are on the list. But I'd like to omnify like coke or something, or uh, coke pellets, but I can't do that yet. So I guess for now, I could even burn nuclear fuel. That's hilarious. Uh, we'll just stick with omnite. That's fine. Six sapphire ore will come from sapphire ore omni traction, and I'll need five omni tractors running for a total of 12.4 omnite. It's a lot of omnite. I think it's worth the 96 green science to upgrade the ratios here. It might take a few minutes to get 96. Well, it looks like I already have about 96 been building up slowly but I think I want that ratio because that's gonna that's gonna mean a lot less we'll see what the difference is currently it's 12.4 omni so we'll remember that 12.4 number and see how it changes and the crushed stone output will be smaller and so that'll be nice too uh, but is this all I need it's actually not too bad because there's no stereotype to worry about so we can make a much denser build So I need five electric Omni tractors, which might change to a smaller number once this research is done. But I'll have I'll have five ready, and then I'll need a bunch of inserters and belts, which I'm kind of out of right now. So I need to grab some more of that stuff, and I have used up some of those kind of just restock on everything restock on belts restock on underground belts i'm not going to take a ton of splitters because they're kind of expensive restock oh that's a problem i want to use at most half of my inserters to make science because I need them to stock up over time and I really should do the same thing for belts so we should have that half go there and this half goes in a chest Okay, there we go. So that way it'll be half and half. It'll slow down my research rate, but I need inserters to be automated. And then I also want to do Omnesium gearboxes somewhere. Where do I have Omnesium and Iron close together? I feel like this is a good spot, but I need three buildings, which is hard to fit right here. Um, I guess the Omnesium can move over. That can be Omnesium Gears, this can be Iron Gears, and this can be the Omnesium Gearbox. Alright, let's see how it changed. 12.4. If I pick the new recipe, it's only 10.4. Okay, yeah, that makes a significant difference. For the same amount, and I think we had 9 crushed stone, and now it's only 7. Okay, so you are iron gears, you are gearboxes, you are omnesium gear wheels. So we'll do that, and then this, and then this. And we'll go one stack of everything, at least for now. Oh yeah, why don't I actually grab iron? coming off that one and omnesium okay sweet so for now what I'm gonna do just because the ratios are better because this is currently 40% actually turns into usable ore 
I'm just gonna switch these to electric. It's electric. And then switch this one to sapphirite. And switch this one to steratite. And I'll just make sure these put on completely opposite sides of the belt so they shouldn't interfere with each other over time. And this will actually improve our yields by quite a lot. 50%, theoretically. I think. And the rate of Omnite usage is even higher, so... We should get three Sapphirite ore per second-ish. Which will be better. And I need some fuel. Now, thankfully, fuel I should have tons of because now, yep, I'm not using this for power, so. That should last me a while. And then we'll put the same over here. Awesome. And for this one... Can I do the same thing? What's the rate? Point four. Point f wow, yeah. So I could just do two electric Omni tractors, and that would be faster than having three of these going and a better ratio for Omni. Oops, I don't want to make another burner one. I want to make new electric ones. So I know I want to build a whole new setting, but just upgrading these old ones is going to improve things a little faster. Until I have time to work on the new build. Because that's the mistake I made earlier, I feel like, was when I... And I'll put that on a different side of the belt. The mistake I made earlier was when I tried to delete the old stuff and make the new stuff but then the old stuff stops running when you mess with it and I actually need I need the old stuff to keep running for a little while I think Although look at all this crushed stone that's a bit of a problem get rid of some of it and then I can rebalance it with even distribution which is kind of nice So yeah, we're using a lot less Omnite over here now, and hopefully this research will finish soon because the steer tight ratio is going to be a little off. It's doing that thing again where it waits to put the input in until the outputs are finished don't know what that's about. If any of you guys understand why that's happening, please let me know. Because I... And maybe some of you already let me know in the previous comments, because these videos are being recorded ahead of time. Um, but I still haven't been able to figure out why that happens sometimes, and it doesn't happen other times. Where... Like, right there. It's happening. Right, it like feels like it has too much sapphirite to get rid of, so it's not actually inputting Omnite. And then the building actually just straight up stops. I don't understand. Why does it wait until it's completely empty before it starts? It's like the building's output doesn't have... But see, it didn't stop that time. This just doesn't make any sense to me. I don't know. It might get fixed by just having three inputting. No? Still doesn't work right. I don't know what's up with that. It's kind of... It smells fishy to me. It's like, this doesn't make any sense. Because this guy's building up to 25, right? Why, why, why are these guys not building up to 25? There's plenty of Omnite ore on the, on the belt. See, it just stopped. They're not, they're, why are they not inputting? I don't know. None of that makes any sense to me. You guys will have to let me know. Anyway, we are going to get 
Sapphirite and Seertite hopefully never stalled out again because they're on separate sides of the belt and they're being sorted separately. So this should work a lot better now. And I need to keep building more electric Omni tractors, but I'm going to grab hopefully some of these gearboxes. Yeah, that'll help. So I can make a couple more to fix the other Omnisium maker. Yeah, these things are all sorts of messed up. Let me make sure he's putting on the far side of the belt. I think three outputs is definitely necessary. But yeah, I think it I think it has to do with the the building settings or the crafting speed or something cuz it just it shouldn't be stopping. And it's actually costing me a lot of resources, the fact that they do that. So yeah, if anyone knows why, please let me know. I'm completely baffled by that. It feels very different than what normal Factorio buildings do. So I don't, I don't know. Alright, gotta get rid of those. We'll get three in, three out, and then switch these guys over to electric. Sapphire steer tight, switch sides of the belt. And that should do it. The other thing that could help is just the stack size. That'll help a lot, actually. Everything being able to move two items at once will fix a lot of my inserter issues. So I'll do that research next. Power's looking okay. Omnisium's looking okay. Why are we stalled out on Steerotite? I'd really like to finish that research. We're just not getting any green science because we're not getting any inserters because we're not getting any iron. That's the problem. Because a lot of my iron's being taken by this ear selfish area because these things aren't running full time <laughs> it's actually part of the problem well what if I just handcraft a few so we can finish this dumb research also apparently have two red science in my inventory So I will just give away some science packs for free. We can finish that stereotype recipe. <laughs> so what's up with the order of my inventory? Aren't chests normally at the beginning of the inventory? Maybe not, but it's like things are in a wacky order. All right, hopefully this will be enough. Plus that one more that's on the on the belt. And then can I build some more Omni tractors? I can, we'll get two more. I do need five still. How do I still need five? I guess they process Sapphirite at the same overall rate. Interesting. Which is 1.44. They just need less Omnite input. So I'm trying to think of how this could look. So we'll have five. And then two crushers, which are going to be in here. Get those crafted. The nice thing about Hellmod is if you do the, the tool here... Um, you can just click 
and it will like make a blueprint for it, which is awesome. I'm wondering if I could use some sort of inserter magic to put these close together like this. 1.44. Once I have the stack bonus, this should work. What if I do this? And then the crushed stone. I need to get rid of all of that, which is hard to do without filter inserters. Um de dum de dum. I guess option two would be to just put it all in a belt. And the rate that we need is about 2.5. So I think one of these will be able to handle it. But again, we're gonna have that weird issue, I think. So maybe we need sideways inserters. Something like this. And then two of them will put on the top of the belt. I don't remember when you're inserting on the side or from the side which side of the belt it goes on, but we'll try to balance that out. And then we will split. Stone to the left. This will come back around. We'll have the two crushers. Which have an input rate of three. We'll actually have two inserters input. How do we do? I guess that. There we go. Two inserters input, and then we need to get rid of the crushed stone. But then we need to smelt all of the regular stuff. So we'll go this direction again. Crushed stone goes left. And all the crushed stone lives happily ever after up off in the distance. And our ore, our usable ore, will come out this side. At a rate of six per second, the Omnite will be coming from this direction. And we'll have half Omnite, half ore, so that we can have fuel on the smelting line. And then we need seven on each side of the belt. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I'm going to use sideways inserters for maximum density of of uh, I don't know the blueprint. So outsert, outsert, out, 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 out. Okay. And then I copy that, flip it vertically. I don't think that's enough room, just one line, because they're only two spaces wide. And so I would need, yeah, that's not going to work. I do think that will work, though. Because each of these does not need a very large amount per second. So we can do something like this. Need a bunch more inserters though. Do we have some that I can grab? Oh, I do. I know that we have some that we can grab because we're doing half and half. So we've got 47 just waiting for me, which is great. While I'm here, I'll grab some gearboxes, some gears, 
and some gears. It's a lot of different types of gears. In Bob's Angels Omni. Make some more nanobots. Okay. So we need to finish out these guys. I think that's right. And then these will come together. Sweet, okay. So all we need to do is hook that up to the input of iron. And we'll just dump that up here so that it can do all the priority splitting things that we want to do. It's less than a half belt, so I'm not worried about what side everything's on or balancing it out. And I can put some power along the bottom. This side, are those inserters going to be an issue? I think we'll be okay. There we go. Input rate 2.4. Technically, two should be enough. Okay. Well, here we go. It should run. We'll throw a light or two in the area. It's pretty compact. I like that. I'm proud of that. And this stone, though, has to have a home. So the stone will come past this silo. And we'll do... Uh, this is a classic method to get more out of your inserters. You go two spaces away, and then you just have two belts. We'll see if we did anything wrong, but I hope not. Looks like at the moment we're stalled out a little bit by inserter speeds. But again, the output full issue... Something's weird. <laughs> I'm gonna stop complaining about it, but I still don't understand it. And I need more miners, is actually what I need. I'll build eight more. Three, four. One, two, three, four. That'll come down and join in there. Get our power grid. Nice and even. Hopefully that'll help. That's another four. I need a total of 10.4, so maybe I should build a couple more still. I'm out of ingredients, though. Okay, well, that's a little better. There we go. And then I need those electric Omni tractors. But we are getting iron from all of this, so that's good. I also need more Omni furnaces. Oh my gosh, I need more everything. Omnisium plates are the current shortage, which... Ooh, look at that. I have a lot of... I have a decent amount of copper and no iron. Classic. Well, hopefully the iron will build up now that I'm now that I've increased production and let's get some more circuits going here
Okay, I can get my two more Omni tractors and a bunch more furnaces. I felt like my FPS dropped again, but I think that every time I run over the bricks there and my speed changes, it feels like I'm getting a lag spike spike of some sort, but I'm actually just noticing the fact that I'm walking faster or slower. I definitely think it's some sort of inserter issue. I just, I don't quite understand why it's not crafting two recipes worth. But like it decides the output is full just because there's a certain amount of items, but it doesn't feel like it's full. But then it waits until it's completely empty before it starts filling up Omnite again. That's the weird part. See, like, why, why is it not putting more Omnite in? I don't get it. I don't get it. Somebody help. All right, four more furnaces. Oh, I need some more Omni bricks. And then the nice thing is I can just copy this and paste it for copper. Or even once I have Bobmonium and Rubyite for tin and lead. So this is what will get me all the way to the metallurgy stage where I'm getting the molten iron and copper and all that kind of thing. Okay, just one more. And bam. Sweet, okay. So that's a lot more iron being produced. Still not running at full speed due to inserter issues. When do I get fast inserters? That's the other question. Fast inserter is the red one. For fast inserters, I need bronze. And a few more researches. And some steel gear wheels. And basic, okay, we're not gonna see that for a while. I will just stick with regular inserters. Compact inserters, though. That's going to be fun that we can use Omni compression to make ultra fast inserters. I wonder if the weirdness of these buildings has to do with the chance. Because it the the way that they make it output 7.2 out of 12 is by giving it a 90% chance to make 8. I wonder if that's the issue. I feel like that's probably related somehow. Because this is just all glow going slower than it should be because of the building stopping. But yeah, look at all this iron. So we're good on iron now. That's a good feeling. It's fully stocked up. Now I guess I do want it to be on both belts for more total compression. So then this needs to come up here and just uh, merge and do the thing where we put onto each side. So that way both sides will get filled up eventually. And then green science is currently stopped. For what reason? Oh, the boards. Oh, that's a simple reason. I can fix that. And that's easy. Sometimes the Helmod Smart Tool leaves the blueprint in your inventory. That's the only downside that I know of. And let's put some purified Omnite as fuel for all these guys. So that we can keep making wood got plenty, but don't want to run out. We'll let stone bricks keep going. No reason to slow them down. I can give this guy all the crushed stone that he ever wants. And I'll take a few more stacks of fuel. Omnite, and then this is all fine. 
grab some more circuit boards. It looks like things are really cooking. Wow, this episode has already gotten to be an hour. Time flies. Lime ties when you're faving hun, as they say. I don't know who they are. Me, I guess, as me says. <laughs> Okay, is this all running? I really wanted to see the inserter capacity bonus finish, but we might have to wait until next episode for that because it's still going to be a little while. We should see it picking up again now that the inserters will be crafting. The burners are also being slowed down by this. Let's fix that by doing a sideways inserter. because that needs a gear per second. So that was slowing things down, actually. So that should help. All right, we're at 65%. Let's finish it out. I'll just, I'll handcraft 10 more and then some nanobots while I'm thinking about it. We also need to automate nanobots, but We'll save that one for next time. Put that on the to-do list. Nanobot. We've got plenty of ammunition. Now that I have more iron, I'm going to let that keep going. Take a hundred of it. And I'll put some basic limits on these. I don't need an entire chest full of these metals. All right, there we go, 90%. So let's go see the impact it has on our little electric Omni tractors and see if maybe finally some better inserting speeds will help fix their downtime. So now we've got 2.35 on straight inserters and 4.14 on angled ones. Okay, well this one was slowed down because the output. Looks like we just straight up still need more Omnite, actually. Oh, because these guys just got a lot faster because of their insertion rates. So this is consuming more crushed, I assume. Yeah. So let me craft two, three, four, five. Do five more. Hopefully that'll get us a full belt. I also need to go grab some more bricks, which I will do. While those craft, and then we will call it an episode after that. Sorry it's gotten to be so long, everybody. Grab 400 bricks. That should last us a while. And then just get this last one placed. Oh, we've got low power. That's another issue. Mining slower because of that. Let's get that all fixed. Put that there. And I think that should do it. Power problem's gone. Yeah, just barely. Okay, so back to these guys. They're still having issues. But it looks like on the input end this time. But it's still doing that thing where it waits. That does feel like a glitch. I wonder if it has to do with the percentage, but it's really frustrating if it does, because then they're never going to run full time. So you're never going to get the advertised rate. Yeah, I mean, why is that stopping? 
Like if I take the inserter off, Does it stop or does it keep running? Now it stops. Hmm. I don't I don't know. Can't explain it. It's also possible that we're maxing out the belt a little bit too. So that's part of the problem. In this particular case, I'll have this one split his uh time between the top and the bottom side, so that way we get like two and a half worth. Let's see if this guy keeps running. Oh, I still don't have enough Omnite though. Shucks. You know what I need is a better splitting system here. Uh, what am I doing? So we want to combine these four. that work? The party left. And we join back in. This is up a party left. No, we need one more. I think that works. Yeah, there we go. Now we're getting a full belt. Because those take 4.8, these take 12. So altogether, slightly more than 15 per second. Which is a good argument for why this should keep going. And we should have a second row that then joins back in. Sweet. Okay, well, I still need to mine more. I can even mine up here, too, to get multiple full belts of Omnite, but... What I'm really curious about is still this weird issue about the outputs. Let's see if it keeps happening now that we have more Omnite. Hmm. Yeah, it's like it waits until the output's empty before it starts inputting. So we actually need the inserters to be a lot faster than they are. And it looks like it's slowing down whenever the inserter doesn't have a place to put his items for even just for a split second. Let's let's keep watching. Cuz I just saw it happen with this second Omni tractor. There it is right there. So it has this whenever this guy can't put his stuff down. Which, why can't he put his stuff down? Oh, this needs to be on two sides of the belt. That's the problem. There we go. Okay. I think... That will help fix it, but that makes sense. So actually faster belts could fix the problem because part of the problem is the belts can't handle it. I think. Because now it looks like it's working properly. Yep, it stopped because this guy couldn't get his output dropped. again I'm still not understanding why he can't because this can handle six per second uh what hold up these say 7.2 per second this says six per second what is going on something is off Is it the per... No, Helmod should be able to handle percentages correctly. 
Um, oh my gosh, I haven't done my Helmod settings. Ugh, I hate this. I don't know why this is the default. The default is that it rounds to the nearest whole number of factories. I personally hate that. Um, now we see I only need 4.17 of the Omni tractors, so having five of them actually will be too much for two ore crushers to handle. It is still exactly 14 Omni furnaces, though, so yeah, all of these guys are running, which is what it should be. All right, well, it's been an extra long episode. So sorry for that, everyone. Hopefully... Those of you that enjoy long episodes got your fill. Uh, and I will see you all next time. Let me know what you think in the comments.